This is the Power of Osmosis Podcast, powered by the Vinwheel Creator Network. Hi, everyone. This is the Power of Osmosis Podcast, powered by the Vidwheel Creator Network. This is a weekend edition of the Power of Osmosis Podcast with none other than my good brother, best pal, confidant, Evan Giokas of the College Confidence Coach. Evan, welcome here on this snowy Sunday. Johnny Osmosis. It's been a long time coming. I'm excited to be here. You, you know it, morning. bro. Snow falling, you know, this is Buffalo. Super Bowl weather, Sunday. Baby. We love it. Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know if Seven I can Seven days a week. I'm still, I'm still salty. I don't think I'll be watching tonight. I know. I remember you told me bills. that. It is what it is. Yeah. Next it's, year. As you agree, go Bills as always. And as you said, you know, long time in the making, um, you know, as friends, uh, you know, sharing the same alma mater, Niagara University, shout out to, to NU, to Mount Eagle Ridge. Uh, and obviously being both golfers and growth mindset entrepreneurs, me being more re- me being more recently minted, you certainly have much more experience in that world. So that's why I look to you as a, a resource and a, and a mentor and confidant. So gr- glad to have you here. Um, you know, again, Evan Giokas of the College Confidence Coach here based in Buffalo, New York. Evan, why don't you give the audience, uh, you know, a little high level on, on who you are and what you're all about with, um, you know, your, your path to today? Sure. Well, uh, first and foremost, I appreciate the intro. And, uh, you know, whether you're at the beginning of an entrepreneurial journey, you're in the midst of it, you know, you're, you're whatever, you're growing, you're scaling. It's, uh, it's always great to be around like-minded entrepreneurs. So I've been pumped up to get on this, you know, power of osmosis podcast. I can't tell you how much I, uh, I respect what you've been doing and I see the hustle and I think we all see the grind. So this is something that, uh, you're my source of juice. You know, I, I call you up when I'm needing that shot. So today, you know, I want to tell people uh, how I provide juice to the world. And uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure we'll go down a couple of different avenues with this. But uh, high level college confidence coach, year nine. Crazy to think about. Year nine uh, since incorporation of, of CC Coach LLC. And uh, essentially, you know, what I've created is a is a place where young adults, for the most part, high school students who are in the midst of the transition from high school to college, that first real time in life where you need to make decisions for yourself, where you need to figure out where life is taking you, what that path that's calling you is, um, and, and bringing it to a place that combines uh, you know, a quantitative data point, and we'll talk about that, to a qualitative mentorship. And uh, navigating families through this, this really challenging you know, thought provoking at times strain, you know, causing period of their lives where they need to decide where am I meant to be? What am I meant to do? Where am I going to go? And so college confidence coach takes all of those questions and turns it into a process that, uh, you know, starts at the beginning in discovery and and really figuring out who students are from a cognitive, effective and cognitive perspective. Uh, And then once we have that and a, a student has a good understanding of it, we transition that into a formal college plan. What should I do? What should I major in? Where should I go? You know, and then uh, and then going through the the entire process. So um, high level, we work with uh, again most of our clientele is is high school students transitioning to to undergraduate, but we also work with undergraduate students going to various grad schools, law school, med school, just getting a, a master's in anything, PhDs. And then people who are going from uh, career transition, you know, what should I be doing next? Am I really happy? You know, where should I go? What, what would make me feel more fulfilled? And so, yeah, nine years, a couple of different moves, a couple of different offices, national presence. And, uh, and here we are back in Buffalo and uh, couldn't be more proud or happy to, uh, to be seeing things uh, flourish the way that they have been here at home. I love it, man. Kudos. And, you know, in that nine year remark, it reminds me for our listeners and watchers that uh, there's some pretty cool tidbits we'll be providing about a Yahoo Finance feature um, you were you were uh, reached out about. um, And we'll hit that later in in a a bit more detail. But sitting here, I remember you you gave me the news the other day and I just couldn't believe it. Um, You know, yesterday even. So, you know, back to us, you know, this grind of seven days a week, we're Saturday for two, three hours. And here we are today now for another couple hours, just again, that, that entrepreneurial mindset. And that's how you get to that nine year point, right? The stats that say the first year of a new business, 90% fail or, or, or shut the doors because they just sure. don't have it. And so by, again, it just, it's, it oozes through the screen. You talk about juice, man, you got the juice. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I need to be juicing you, you, you got it's it. Contagious. It's contagious. 
contagious. And this doesn't help. This this doesn't hurt. You know, this is this cheers is good. The, cheers to the camera, right? Amen. Boom. Amen. Cheers. Shout out to Dig. Uh, shout out to Pat Whalen there, the the starter of that in Buffalo. But so you did you did a great job profiling college conference coach, right? Um, and yeah. I've seen it too at work. Um, I've seen I've, I've seen and heard from clients of yours. I've seen the work in the community. I've seen how well connected you are. I mean, people love to say that Johnny Osmosis, you got the big network, this and that, but if there's anyone that rivals me, man, or beats me, it's you. you you've got incredible <laughs> connections, but incredible respect too. And it, it, it's not, it's not, it's not because, um, or what I'm saying is it's because you have such a great um, value delivery of, of service um, to your clients. So, you know, there's a true need and you fulfill that need. So, you know, you did a, you did a high level on college confidence. What about you, the entrepreneur, the man behind the mission? Sure. Tell, tell us more about you. Well, I, two things that you touched on already that I'll just, you know, either validate or, or go further into. I know that a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of what we discuss uh, whenever we have our juice sessions, our meetings, we're getting randy about things. You know, it goes, it goes, it, it goes back to entrepreneurial people, uh, you know, are like minded. We all have the same, uh, maybe not the same goals of success, but we all, we all, you know, revolve around four different M's, which is, you know, a, a CC well, coach tool, four M's of success. Which we can do, uh, but before I go any specific with it, I think you know you attract like-minded people. So when we talk about the mindset, you know, you talk about that grind. I remember being in my first year of entrepreneurship and literally, not figuratively, uh, only eating peanut butter and tuna fish. Like that was like that's what I had. You know, there was just nothing else. There was no there was no hunger greater than what I wanted. You know, to, to be in business and what I wanted to to create here. And you know, seeing it through was was a grind at times, but. Um, you know, fortunately, I, I had some really cool opportunities with National Honor Society, National Society of Collegiate Scholars, the Society of Torch and Laurel, things that took me to uh, a level where I was fortunate enough to recognize, you know, the value of mentorship early, you know, and, oh, yeah. and really kind of following people who had trudged paths, you know, to entrepreneurial success. So I, I'm, uh, I'm really, you know, when you first said it, and I'm looking behind you at that mindset book, that mindset of, Never yes. give up seven days a week, you know, put, put, put through whatever you need to, to get to that next level is, is why we're here. So, um, you know, the, the question that you're asking, what, what yeah. is it about me? What is it about that, you know, that I'm motivated by? Well, right now, at this point, I've gotten to, uh, you know, humbly, we've gotten to a point where referrals are just, they're through the roof. You know, we, we really have found something that we can be proud of. We found something that each student who comes to the process is going to have their own unique journey. We're not trying to make you know, a cookie cutter experience for everybody. We really want to build it into a mentorship, build it into, uh, you know, coaching and, and letting students start where they start in their journey, whether they're a freshman, even eighth graders we have in the program right now, all the way to people who are coming to us at the end of the transition in senior year, who are just looking for that for that quick fix. We've, we've developed our mindset around being able to provide people what they need out of it. So for me, you know, where I see things going, where I see things heading at this point, it's certainly going to the next level up. It's scaling, mm -hmm. it's training more good people. You know, if you weren't uh, on your entrepreneurial path, it's people like you, right, who have the energy to come in and coach and make an impact on, on these young adults' lives and, and mm -hmm. really just kind of be that person, you know, that, that they have that support. They've got that person that they can go to and say, why is my brain working the way that it is? What should I be doing next? And I think too many of us really don't have that guidance and support. So I'm working on a way now to be able to have more people with me, empowered, you know, intentional in our conversations, being able to provide that value for, for the people who come to us. I love that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love that. And, you know, as you're saying that too, you know, it's not just referrals and this entrepreneurial business, but you, you know, you get on a Yahoo finance because you are an expert. So maybe just sure. a couple tidbits on some of the, the methodologies, mindset, the programs, whatever it might be, certifications that you're following for the audience to, again, kind of build, I mean, you know, you've got the great following locally, regionally, nationally, but just, sure. just for those listening that might be their first encounter with College Confidence Coach and you, Evan, um, more about that and, and some of your certs and things that back up, you know, that data-driven kind of mindset focus. Yeah, I appreciate it because I, I think that it's been so long that, that sometimes I overlook that. And so when you look at, you know, what it takes to be um, in the world that I'm in now, I think so many people... Uh, you know, especially in the pandemic and kudos to them. This is not any type of negative knock, whatever, but we've talked about this. There's so many people out there who come out and they say, you know, I'm a coach. I do this, I do that, you know, and it's great. You know, go, go and plant that flag, baby, put the shingle on the roof. I'm, I'm excited 
uh, to see so many budding entrepreneurs. And I love being part of the community. But for college planning specifically, you know, it does take a lot of experience to to get to where we are. So I've mentioned the word ponative, I think, twice now since we began. And people are probably like, you know, what is this? So so my journey begins super organically, actually really lost. You know, I come from one immigrant parent. I'm the first, I'm a first generation college student on both sides of my family. Wow. Um, so when I was in undergraduate at NU, you know, to be candid with you, I didn't really want to go to NU at first. Um, I was, I was uh, a good student. I had gotten into some really good universities, target universities, good universities, um, sure. you know, that I, that I had strived to get into, but mostly because, you know, I followed their sports teams or, you know, I, I was infatuated with their school colors. I just dumb things. Right. And so right. when I had gotten my acceptance letters, my parents looked at me like I was, you know, a crazy person when I was handing them 80,000, $100,000, you know, college tuition bills. And my dad was like, dude, you've got uh, you know, half a ride to go to NU, you know, part of it merit, you know, part of the golf, all these things that I was, I was looking forward to doing. And, uh, so I went to Niagara and I, I really struggled, uh, for the first semester that I was there, uh, mostly because I was in the wrong major, not knowing that I knew I wanted to go into business. So I majored in business. Well, you know, accounting, economics, finance, that, that wasn't where I really found my niche. My niche was in communication. It's in management, it's in entrepreneurship. So, um, Throughout going through that transition, uh, I had actually uh, transferred three different times. I transferred from Niagara to UB to Canisius wow. and then back to Niagara uh, uh-huh. because they were the only per, per place at that point. I didn't even know this. Sorry yeah, to they were the one, I don't think I even knew this as a good friend of yours. Yeah, well, I wow. mean, you know what? It, it's, it, it all happened so fast. And it's funny because that, that story is what in, in, in part led to the inspiration of College Confidence Coach. And I'll wrap up the story quickly because it's a tangent. Good. But Love the um, energy, baby. <laughs> but I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm bringing it. So if I, if I no, go you into lo- another hole, you you're good. No, it's perfect. perfect. So I was in the midst of all of this, really figuring out the behind the scenes of what the college planning process looks like. What most people don't realize going into it is most students change their major three times. If you look at the Two average- three times on average. Three yeah. times is the average. It's the average number. Wow. But what happens wow. with that is each time a student transfers, each time a student changes their major, or sorry, each time they change their major, uh, you know, it goes through, you're transferring from the College of Business to the College of Communications or the College of Business to the College of Hospitality or, you know, to right. education or whatever those changes that you're making are. Well, each time you do it, even if you're staying at the university, you lose between two and three courses worth of credit that you've accumulated and more importantly, invested in. So what, no what I was figuring out is I was jumping from school to school, trying to find a fit of a major that really, you know, was, was motivating to me. And in reality, I was doing myself a disservice because each time I was making these transfers, these schools were saying, well, you know, you've got these credits from here. You've got these from here. I don't know how we're going to fit them. Your electives are taken. So anyways, mm. point being, I went through an organic experience that's led me to coaching students not to do that. And we're not telling every student and parent that the first time we meet you, we're going to nail that major down to one. You know, that, that would be absurd to say, right? At 17, 18 years old, 16 years old, in some of these cases, I'm not telling you that you're going to have one major that you're going to do for the rest of your life. What I'm telling you is you're going to be in the right environment with one, two, maybe three paths at the most that you are cognitively aligned with. So wrapping all this back up in the midst of my chaos, uh, I had actually taken the LSAT and was admitted to law school. Um, and while I was going through this journey of, of embarking on this journey of going to law school, a mentor of mine, a, a local mentor of mine, gave me a book on what's called cognitive ability. And mm-hmm. cognitive ability is a, uh, it's a, it's a part of the mind. There's three areas of the mind, our cognitive, our affective, and our cognitive. Cognitive, you know, is how we're measured in school, how intelligent we are, uh, or, or at least how we're perceived to be. Affective being where our emotional intelligence stems from. And then mm-hmm. cognitive, which is an, a, a, uh, an area that's not talked about too often, is our instinct, instinctively what drives us, how do we make things work. So I got this book while I was just about to go to law school. Uh, and as I was reading it, I was infatuated with this woman, Kathy Colby, who had created this cognitive mindset. And I took the only dollars that I had to my name at that point. I flew out to Chicago to become certified in her process. And wow. from there, I had this you know, divine intervention, whatever you call it. You know, I, I had this moment, you know, for me, it was God I'd call him. It was like, listen, 
you just went through this whole thing for four years, you know, five years trying to figure out law school too. If you knew this ahead of time, if I knew this ahead of time, I would not have gone through that struggle. If I knew instinctively how, when, why I do my best work, how that aligned with different career paths, different majors, I would have never struggled the way that I did. So I took that, I, I asked for permission to turn this into a, uh, a more student driven process and, you know, was, was blessed with that opportunity. And wow. here we are, you know, it, it has turned into, so I'm a level three certified cognitive consultant. I am a member of the New York State Accredited College Association. I am a CCPS and ELA, ELA certified. So I'm a certified college planning specialist and an educational loan analyst. Um, so everything, you know, from figuring it out to helping you get the finances of college figured out is a process. And so what we did with College Confidence Coach, there's people who do, you know, individual elements of that. We said, let us be, you know, your guru. Come to us. Let us walk you through that whole mm. process. So I, I have dove into head first into as many certs or as many uh, credibility uh, boosters in this as possible. And that's certainly how the the Yahoo uh, piece came to be uh, through through all of that. Dude, good for you, man. And just let's let's hit a quick recap. And while you were talking about this, it actually gave me a new. I wanted to take this, you know, somewhere that I know will be impactful and resonant with our, some of our listeners, especially for the, some of the younger parents that are thinking about their kids in college. Maybe it's a couple of years from now, maybe it's maybe a, a decade, whatever. But, you know, the one thing with Osmo, the power of osmosis podcast is I'm trying to, as we've talked about before, and you've seen it on my other pods is to give some actionable takeaways. But before that, you know, it's interesting because as we're sitting here organically, I'm thinking about my experience and, you know, I, I don't put much thought to it because Again, as a purple eagle through and through, shout out again to Niagara. Both of us had great experiences. Here we are For sitting sure. here, um, you know, armed with the, the mindset of servant leadership and, um, you know, and following our passions. But that said, you know, my my process was, yeah, a couple of local universities have an Italian mother who wanted me to stay. My dad's at Niagara, <laughs> who's now on 40 years, stay local, I should say. My dad's 40 years uh, at Niagara as a psychology professor. And so basically my destiny was made. Uh, lucky for me, you know, I, I had a great experience and I, you know, I, I countless opportunities and internships and connections and administrative type, you know, work that I did with some of the really upper level people. The point I'm getting at, though, is I didn't put much thought to it until now here we are sitting on this, this chat where, yeah, I mean, there's just so much that can go into it. And now it's a good segue for me to ask you for the audience for the parents that are thinking about planning, you know, college, maybe it's a couple of years out, maybe it's next year, maybe it's a decade, whatever. Sure. What are a couple tips that you can give as we'll call free consulting or just, you know, actionable tips that they can take from this pod um, that, that you would say to them as they're preparing, and again, in, in a pandemic and a pandemic focused world too, where it's virtual yeah. learning, a lot of that. Some tips, man, let's hear it. Man, uh, I, I love that you even went there. Really, 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 really good transition. I, I, I think like this that. is a good, yeah. Please yeah, hit cool. us with it. I, I'm you've juiced. Got talent. You've got a gift. I like <laughs> it. So here's, Appreciate here's that. tangible step number one, right? Like something that you can do right away. And this gets me a little bit of slack. To be honest, we have a, we've got a, a great uh, community following, uh, on, mostly on, on Facebook, but in other socials as well. And in our uh, grab, right? W right now, there are, I could actually look at this. I I'll spare you do guys it. without going into it. it. All right, let's do this. So right now, Real time stuff here. Let's go. This is 9 19 a.m. on Sunday, February 7th. There are 11 people right now, 11 families right now that are watching a live class, um, a live class for them, but it's a pre recorded class that I've done that are watching leveraging technology, technology, right? Leveraging exactly. automation technology. Exactly. So let me let me get to your question, which is how, giving you a couple of steps. Well, before the, the background story here is what grabbed them to go to that class right now at nine o'clock this morning? They're, on they Sunday. are there on a Sunday. They are huh. in this class right now because in the advertisement or in the referral, whoever sent them to where they are right now in this live class, we say right on our headline, parents, you're not doing your child any favors by helping them plan for college. And people read that and sometimes it rubs them the wrong way, right? They look right. at it and it's like, okay, well, who knows my kid better than me? And I'm not saying that we don't want parents involved in the process, but the number one tip that I can give to anybody is be empowered by internal self-validation. That's a mouthful, right? What does that mean? Well, sure. too often when we're going through this process, we rely on the advice of the people who we think 
know us well, our parents, mm. our teachers, our friends, even things we see in the media. I can't tell you how many students come into my office. They're like, yeah, I watched Grey's Anatomy. I'm going to be a doctor. It's like, all right, kid. Well, you know what? I thought Let's I was a surgeon too. Right. Let's exactly. find well, the, the, yeah. the genesis of that thought. Let's do some discovery, right? Can we talk about this off camera? Bam. It's like, yeah. So like from a cognitive perspective, right? What does it take to be a good doctor? You know, you have to have quick reactions. You have to be able to go through the grind of fact finding. You have to, uh, you know, be adaptive in your follow through. I have these people who come in and, I, you know, I'm constantly profiling people for good, bad or indifferent. My wife, you know, she's, she's, we get in the car after we go anywhere. She's like, what'd you think of their cognitive profile? Cause it, it really, when you get it, it is awesome. Like seeing people in their cognitive unique abilities is, is what I mm. love more than anything. So, mm. um, but like to be you know, in a, in a capacity to be a surgeon or to be a doctor every single day without getting burnt out, you know, not just by what could be in the career possibilities, but in the schooling that it takes to get there, you know, it's, True. it's a, it's a process. So, um, my number one tip is when you were, when you're relying on the advice of the people who you think know you well, they, nobody wants to intentionally give you bad advice, but they don't know you know, they don't know what your instincts are. They don't know how you react to things. They don't feel what's going on in your gut, your heart. Your they brain. may think they know it, right? They may exactly. have seen patterns, but they don't truly know like the visceral reality, right? Of what you're actually, because, you know, you, again, you want to uh, external, not sorry to over speak, but quickly, no. you, you want to make your parents proud, right? You want to sure. make your friend, you know, you know, do what your friends are doing or whatever. And that's where external validation comes in. It's something that I think you and I really connect on is that internal. So anyway, you were, you were, you were yeah, saying, no, that's, it's, it's a great point. My, my, where I was going with it next is, you know, we, we, there's a lot of students who come through our program, our process who are like, you know, the Johnny good son or, you know, the, the dear daughter who want to please mom and dad. It's okay. Mom was doing this. Dad was doing this. They told me to do this. So I'm going to follow. And so in this class, ironically, cause we're, we're going to circle back to it. Um, I tell a story about a student of mine from probably year two or three. I, 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 trademark or I call her, you know, the anxious accountant. She comes from a family of, you know, uh, partners uh, at uh, in longevity of, of one of the big four accounting firms. And she was in, uh, she was on an accounting path. This was in 2014. I remember she was in, in, in the completely wrong college, was too afraid to tell her parents, hey, you know what? I hate accounting. This is not for me. I can't see myself doing it. And she was already two years in to an expensive university, you know, going through this accounting path, knowing internally that it was eating her alive, but didn't know what she would rather do, you know, to tell mom and dad, hey, I've got this alternative plan. So finally, there was a breakdown. She had this moment of anxiety and depression and went to mom and dad, said, what do I do next? And, you know, fortunately, they knew someone who knew me. Uh, and we coached her through that process and found her the right path. And we did have to do a transfer and all that. But so my, my point tying back to what is the tip, first and foremost, empower your student with the gift of internal self-validation. And that's easier said than done. But I'll give you three questions that you can ask yourself, you know, to or ask your student, your child, you know, to really get that process starting. One, what do I really believe in? Loaded, right? What are things that I really believe in? What what are things that I believe can help the world? What are things that I believe, you know, motivate me? Uh, and then, you know, going through that list. Question number two: What uh, what really excites me about my future? You know, what is it? Is it monetary success? Is it mating? And you know, I use that word and people laugh, but I mean, what I mean by it is being successful enough to build relationships. Is that what motivates me? Is it mastery? You know, do I want to be the best at what I do? Do I want to be able to, you know, to help people and be a master of my craft? Or am I more motivated by momentum? You know, and I want to be a part of something that's bigger than me that has momentum behind it. And, mm. you know, everybody should have a, a uh, you know, a mix of those four M's. You know, you put different emphasis on different M's during your uh, transitions in life. So ma uh, monetary mating, mastery, momentum being those four M's. So what do I really believe in? You know, what really excites me about my future? And then who are the people that I wish to serve? You know, so whether you're, you know, mm -hmm. a, a, a time college, back Niagara service, an right? Service leadership. Man, yeah. And you know what? I, I did want to touch on that too. I loved my experience at Niagara University just because I transferred around was no, it was more because I was figuring you were out finding myself. yourself, right? You exactly. just didn't have the tools that you've now created and provided nine years later that have had you had something like that you encountered, you probably wouldn't have done that. Exactly. So just before Sorry. I lose the audience here, because we're going down three questions, right? What do I really believe in? 
what really excites me about my future and who do I wish to serve? Because whether you are physically sewing people back together, fixing them from a medical perspective, you're an attorney who's, you know, getting people their rightful claim on something. You are, you know, a financial advisor who is helping people save for retirement. You're a teacher who's molding young minds, right? We are all serving someone. And I think that when you recognize that, when you have that moment of clarity of, okay, my life is bigger than mine, right? There's somebody that I serve here mm. to, with intention. That's when internal self-validation really hits like Ooh. that. Then, and so now you don't need your parents' advice, right? You want it. Now you can go to your parents and say, all right, I'm thinking these three things. And they can say, wow, great ideas. You know, get excited about it. But you, that, so that's my number one tip. Get out of an externally validated mindset, get into an internally validated oh. mindset. And then the easiest tip that I can give anybody is when you get into high school, and now you start thinking about college planning, it's too late. You know, it's you have to start planning for things from the parents' perspective, financially, knowing what you want to invest in that college experience, having that laid out. And I'm not a financial guy. I, I do, you know, help with financial aid forms and stuff like that. But oh, yeah, I mean, I can't hold tell. on. Let's let's just take a pause there. You are sure. very good at that. You you're, sure. yourself. You I know, maybe I downplayed it. Humbling. Yes. You're being humble, but I mean, I mean, I, I remember hearing from you and even hearing from parents in passing that, you know, you you really changed the game for them and finding ways to save them. Again, you know, this is pertinent. and I'm kind of taking the spotlight back over for a second, but I mean, this, this is something I didn't do in the beginning of the podcast because I was so energized and juiced, but like the underscores, the themes of today, right. Are the servant, the servant leadership, right. The passion, the energy, the entrepreneurship, uh, you know, the genesis of why you're doing what you're doing. Um, which is, is a perfect venue for it. I'm so excited to have this all tuned up and released in the near future because, dude, you can feel it through the screen. And I think our, and I know, I don't think I know our listeners, our watchers are going to feel it as well. And it just, it's pretty cool, man, because in a time where, again, underscore a pandemic, underscore of economic crisis, you know, you, you are providing true, sincere uh, value, right? In so many different on, on levels, right? And, you know, sure. not to yeah, pump your tires and do a back massage, you know, thing here. Uh, that's a Dustin Poirier line when he was fighting Conor McGregor. They were on stage doing the press before. He's like, we're like, you know, I don't mean to keep massaging each other, but it's it's sincere, right? And and hearing it here on this in this particular kind of venue has really brought it full circle. So I'm 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 energized. You know, you call me the juice man, I give you the juice, but you 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 <laughs> it's a it's a it's a bilateral relationship, no For doubt. Sure. And for sure, it's cool. So just just highlights there, right? So these questions that you're asking, you're you know, as a parent to your to your son or your daughter, um, you know, those are going to be key. And then you know, even if there's going to be college, you know, potential college, you know, um, hopefuls or or whatever listening to this, that's going to be great for them as well. Um, direct source, right? They can hear it for themselves. So um, you know what you're what you're doing then is is you're you're providing servant leadership. You know, you're, you're helping, um, you know, peace of mind with with parents, again, with the financial, which there's there's never been such an emphasis on that, um, given how sure. the times we're living through. Right. So this is this is fantastic. And then, you know, hitting on hitting on internal self-validation versus external, the importance of really building internal self-validation. And then, um, you know, also just kind of that that transformational coaching. And um, I mean, you, you, you did it so so eloquently, man. This is I mean, this has been appreciate it. This is fantastic. Well, you make it easy. I'm telling you, you got you got you got this podcast as an awesome uh, forum, and I'm just I'm honored to be on it. I, I really you're, am. You're kind. No, I mean, it's again the, the the zest, the passion, the energy. It's so apparent, and I'm so glad that we unpacked the genesis of your story um, as part of what will be multiple podcasts that will film. Um, maybe there'll be an there will be an evolution where. Uh, the next one, maybe we're both in different venues, but still virtual. And then eventually we're in person and you people will really be able to feel that, that tangible energy through the, through the screen, through the, through the, um, you know, the, through the speakers or whatever. So, um, awesome, awesome. no, this has been great. I, I want to tie it together, two things. All right. So, um, tie it all together with, we talked about the Yahoo finance article a couple of times. Let's hear, let's hear more about, you know, what it is, what, 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 how did it come about? What's happening? When's it coming out? And then that'll be perfect because that's, that's content, that's information more about what you're doing. It's a pretty cool honor, but also then how do we engage? So on a podcasting platform, you're not supposed to ask two questions, but it's kind of easy, right? So the Yahoo finance, sure, and sure. then from there, how do we engage with you? So Yahoo, Yahoo finance, finance is a, is a really organic story. It was, um, uh, Someone who actually works for Yahoo Finance saw my class. Um, so they went through, they watched the 90 minute uh, masterclass, uh, our five secrets 
uh, for finding the right fit university, five secrets that we're giving students to find the right fit college. And anybody who's listening to this right now that just wants to go watch it, whether you have a student that's ready for it or, you know, you're just trying to get more into my mind, you can go to our website. This is oh. working from home 101 right now. <laughs> Hold on. Hi, Mika. This Who's is my that? daughter, Mika. This is Mika. Mika, Mika this is the joys of, say hi. <laughs> This is, Hi, this Mika. Is, what a, this what is the, the working from home. Hi, sweetheart. Um, what an absolute beauty. Beauty. Podcast. Can you go close the door? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm going to come to church little, with you. You got so it. so cute. Oh, All my right, God. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, we're almost done anyway. Tell me. All right, we'll be so I'm telling this. <laughs> yeah, I got to take. She asked me if I'm taking her to church. This is the angel that I'm, I'm blessed with. So, oh, my Lord. Um, Too so cute. Sorry. Where was I? The, so yeah. this parents, they, the, the, if you want to watch the class, my website is uh, www.theccoach.com, or you can just Google College Confidence Coach. And in there, uh, this woman uh, who had seen the class uh, contacted me. She said, you know what? I, I watched it. I'm really into it. Uh, we ended up talking about her student who's a little young for the process, but will start soon enough. Um, and, and I was, you know, we did an interview and I was blessed. It's going to be a blurb. I'm, I'm in the top 10 transformational male coaches of 2021. Uh, and I'm very excited. The article great. should be coming out this week. So it's Yahoo Finance, top 10 uh, transformational coaches, of uh, male coaches that of 2021. And then uh, Disrupt, Major Disrupt Magazine is going to do a, a spread on it too. So it's uh, it's been really, really a, a, an amazing, humbling, blessed opportunity. I mean, and, I, and I'm, I'm sorry there. I'm just juiced by the Mika cameo and then the <laughs> fact that Yahoo Finance and, and, sure. and, um, and, but then you said Disrupt as well, which is a very, no, well, you know, very well-known publication. So two places even. For sure. Uh, you know, I think if I'm remembering correctly, who's on, like, are there any notables on the top 10 or whatever of the Yahoo? Yeah. So I, I don't know, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to learn to accept, you know, that, that, that uh, blessings and opportunities, but number one on the list is Tony Robbins. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not Tony too far Robbins. down back. So, you know, the, what the purpose of the article is, is people is who just... really do have their hand in, in transformation. And so, you know what? I love it. If they want to honor me and put me on that list, I, you know, I'm, I'm building the social now, which is uh, something that I haven't done for nine years. I've been so busy and so wrapped up and immersing myself in, you know, providing Organic. value and provide exactly that. I really haven't gotten to that social level with all of this. And, you know, maybe this is my next calling to really put that out there in the world and let the masses see it. So yeah, Yahoo Finance, I believe, I, you know, I shouldn't uh, spot this before it happens, but I believe I'm number four on the list uh, in top 10 male transformational coaches of 2021. That's just, that's how I can already see the the LinkedIn and other social media posts that <laughs> once this is all, you know, cut up and ready to rock and edited, I can already see, you know, meet sooner. You know, maybe what we'll do is we'll let the Yahoo Finance article come out and then we'll release this. I think here we are on your planning, but, um, but, but that's just fantastic, man. And Hey, I, I, you know, again, I, I want next year, I, I want to have us do a, a follow-up pod. Maybe it's the fourth or fifth or sixth, whatever, where, Johnny Osmosis is on that, right? We're going to put that into the law, sure. the universe law of attraction. Let's manifest it. We'll bring it in together. And it's a, and it's a real thing, man. I mean, I, I think I talk about it in some of my content, but the law of attraction, putting good energy out, getting it back is real. Absolutely. So back to Absolutely. what we were saying though, kudos there. Um, you Thank know, you. And, and part of your social thing, you know, I will certainly be a part of that. And here we are right now, one of the pieces to the equation of what you were saying, like just starting to get more on the social platforms, more content again, I can't even imagine where you're going to take things once, uh, you know, once that following is starts to really build and the awareness gets out there on those platforms. I mean, again, I think in my opinion, sincerely, you did the hard part. I know, well, I know you did. I don't believe, I don't think, and I know you've done the hard part. We're nine years into the business. You're, you're killing it. You're providing value. You've got numerous use cases and partnerships and and so now the easy thing is to put that out there to the world where, you know, they all used to say cash is king. Now it's content is king. For and that's sure. just going to put you on another, uh, you know, ascension, uh, another universe stratosphere or whatever. So. Well, I'm um, excited to have you part of that journey. And I mean that sincerely. We're gonna do I, it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pumped up about it. So we're gonna do whatever it, we can do, whatever content we can put out there that's going to be valuable to the world, that they can take this as a launching pad and, you know, be part of it. That's what we're all about. So we're we'll, on a uh, rocket we'll, ship we'll journey get that out baby. there soon. For sure. The rocket ship, lightning bolt, osmosis. You, you know, here, I, I'll just throw it out there. Shout out to my brother. I think you know him too. Got my osmosis hatchets and hops. And right here, what are we doing? I mean, we're doing- How ironic. How ironic. Connect, collaborate, champion, CCC, college confidence coach, CCC. That's a weird connection right there, baby. Dude, 
you got to be that. This is such a good way to finish. I mean, that's, that's as people know, whoever, maybe they do or don't, but that's the, that's the slogan, right? The mantra of, uh, of osmosis. So shout out to Andrew Pichowitz and Hatchets and Hops. This is just a gift he got me. He's one of my clients. And what are the, dude, what totally unplanned, unscripted, sure. not that we're scripted For or sure. anything. We had it. Dude, that's, that's crazy. Okay. Before we get too crazy, we're coming up on it. Um, you see, you already talked about your website. How, how other ways can people reach out to you? Your LinkedIn profile, yeah, your other LinkedIn, social, Instagram. Facebook. Uh, I just started a new Twitter, you know, I'm going into uh, just uh, putting some content out there about entrepreneurship, family, parenting, you know, things that I'm, I'm involved in and juiced up about right now. Facebook, uh, you can follow the College Confidence Coach. It's probably where we pump out the majority of our content, but LinkedIn, Instagram, you know, we, we got the whole nine. So if you're looking for the College Confidence Coach, that's going to be at the CC Coach. If you're looking for me personally, that's going to be at Evan Giocas. Um, And, you know, I'd, I'd love to uh, have some of you along on that journey. And all that is going to be for our listeners. And we're just about to Mika wrap up. It's good. Again. Yeah. You're at home. It's just, I mean, it's dude, it's Super Bowl Sunday, snowy sure. Super Bowl Sunday um, sure. where we're that, but just for everyone listening to, as everyone knows, but for you to know too, right out on the YouTube and everything else, all of your information, all of Evan's information and his companies will be in the caption. So you'll just have to scroll down, click some links, boom, boom, boom. You're going to be ready to rock and roll with Evan. And uh, of course you can reach out to him directly um, for insights and information to follow up on the great, incredibly insightful, impactful, resonant information that you've delivered. So we're wrapping up here. So this is a good, this is a good, good, uh, you know, <laughs> place to, to, to end. So, so again, Evan, thank you, brother, for being here. My gratitude to you thank as you. always gratitude. Yep. Um, you've you know, got something excited. great here. I'm excited to be a part what, of it. And what a great uh, way to start a Sunday. I'm like sure. going to go run a thousand miles outside in the, in the 10 degrees and snow. I, I I'm so juiced. I'm taking my three. I've got Mika, Ari and Luca shout out to, to the kids, uh, yeah. Aristotle and Luca. We're going to go to, we're going to go to yeah. mass right now. We're going to catch 10 AM and then, uh, okay. we're going to make some homemade pizzas today. So it's, we got what a good a day. day in front of us. Get yeah. ready for yeah family. And so, you know, do it again. That's awesome. Family is such an important part to all of our lives. So, Hey, Thanks again. Um, big Thank shout you. out as always. This is the Power of Osmosis podcast powered by VidWheel Creator Network. So all the setup here, everything's from my friends there. This is the coordination of everything here and the editing and production. Um, big shout out to Neil and Morgan and team there. So thanks again. And um, you know, again, hit hit the links below here, um, whether you're listening on YouTube, you're watching on YouTube or any of the other platforms, this is going to go out to the audio only platforms. Evan Giocas, College Confidence Coach, Power of Osmosis. Keep going. All right. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Thanks, brother.